What's good everybody on YouTube? It's your boy on TV and today we got some gameplay news and updates following NBA 2K19 man. Now the first things first, um Mike Wayne went on Twitter, you know what I'm saying, to answer to a couple of questions regarding to gameplay issues and problems. And he 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 um excuse me. <clears throat> he talked about a topic that I had an issue with in the very beginning of the year. And I still have an issue with this problem. And it's up to you guys to you guys tell me if y'all like it, okay? Now, back when 2K18 came out, I was complaining to Mike Wayne how the heavily contested greens were way too often. There's no reason why you should have play the best defense you can possibly play and somebody was able to get a perfect release green meter on your defense. Now, <clears throat> me and Mike Wayne had this topic. We me and Mike Wayne argued about this topic for a little minute, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And I was basically explaining, y'all remember last year in 2K17 when if you were playing stage or park or anybody in general, if you were in somebody's face that contested, it would be an air ball or it would be <clears throat> it would be rim bouncing. You know what I'm saying? Now in NBA 2K18, when you play the best defense you can possibly play, you get greens. And I was explaining to Mike Wang and I was arguing about the fact that this is the reason why lockdown defenders are the least created archetype in 2K18. Okay? I told him, I said, Mike. I don't even need to know the statistics. I can tell you off rip that lockdown defenders are the least creative archetype in 2K18 because defense is not rewarding. Now, I, me and Mike argue about this conversation, you know what I'm saying? We argue about this topic for a good week and a half. So I'm like, okay, Mike, I say we have a voting poll. Now, back in NBA 2K18 in the ending of the year <laughs> Mike put a poll on Twitter heavily contested greens keep it or remove it or something of that sort he probably said decrease it or increase it the community you guys voted to keep it and I'm very disappointed I am very disappointed because this is what the, the, I don't understand about the community, okay? The community wants gameplay changes. When when devs want, and this y'all y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Everybody in the chat's gonna type facts. The community wants gameplay changes. Every time we propose, the community proposes a good change. Everybody denies it. You wanna know why? Cause nobody wants to get touched. Every time. We say, pure sharps are too OP. They shouldn't start off with 99.3. Don't touch my build. Worry about your own build. Pure sharps are fine. Pure sharps are amazing. Every time we say, slashing rebounders are, are dominant in the paint. No, they're not. They're perfectly fine. Don't touch my build. I put VC on this player. Don't touch gameplay. No, no mic. Everything is fine. Don't touch anything. And that's why... I don't understand the community. Y'all don't know how to make up y'all's mind. You can't ask for gameplay changes and say, oh, dribbling needs to be better. Nah, no, don't touch dribbling. I like the way I dribble. You can't ask for these gameplay changes and expect for them not to happen. You can't complain that gameplay is trash and we literally propose changes and you guys don't agree with it. There is absolutely Zero reason why in a basketball game you play the best defense you could possibly play and get a green light perfect release on defense that's heavily contested. There is no reason. Oh, annoying. Well, in the NBA, people people all the time in the NBA look at Kevin Durant. You can, you can heavily contest KD and he knocks him down often. Okay, I understand that. But for one, in a basketball game, in a basketball game, you need to tell me that I can play the best defense 
I can possibly play. And you just perfect release green. Like I was never there. Should not happen in the basketball game. Whatsoever. That's mistake number one that I have a problem with. And number two. If KD and all these players like you said can make these heavily contested greens. I mean heavily contested shots. I guarantee you they're not perfect releases. I guarantee. But listen. I don't mind heavily contested shots going in. You know what I'm saying? 2K17, there was a lot of fluky shots that went in. But most of the time it was air balls. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a problem with you shooting reds or whites or whatever the color is for your shots. My problem is, why do you get a perfect release on a heavily contested shot? Why? It should never happen. And the thing is, is that some people are getting these heavily contested greens. And they don't even have 99 heavily contested greens. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But that's my personal opinion. The community wants it. So guess what? It's most likely going to be in 2K19. And speaking of that, Mike Wayne just <coughs> responded to a, um, a person regarding to, to contested shots. Mike Wayne said that he's working on stronger impact of open versus contested shots and greater emphasis on timing. More skill based overall. Lots of other upgrades in the works that I'll share later. So, apparently, there's going to be a larger skill gap when it comes to open versus contested. Mike, I really hope these contested shots are not green like they were in 2K18. I know that you got you had a poll and you asked to keep it or change it. But Mike, man, listen. I'm telling you my own personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? The community may feel differently. Do what you feel like is right. But I'm telling you from my personal experience, I know that lockdown defenders are the least created archetype in NBA 2K18. And I don't even need to look at the statistics. And the reason being is because there's no defense awarding at all. You can't rip the ball like you killed in 2K17. You know what I'm saying? I know people used to hate the spam, but I'm not going to lie. The spam was a problem, but the stealing, the stealing bonus that you got was, was perfect. In 2K18, people can literally dribble through you. People can literally, you know what I'm saying? When you go and bait a, a, a post scorer or somebody who's in a post that's a center and you try to rip the ball, you can't rip the ball from the center in the post. It's it's becoming a problem. You know what I'm saying? Now, I do like the steel delay that you added and, and, and put in NBA 2K18, but you need there needs to be more some, some more defense awarding things, man. There's just no reason why 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 you can't steal a ball and why you're getting greens i just i just don't agree with it i just don't agree with it now like i said you can make your own judgment that's just my personal opinion mike wang also spoke about jump shot meters he asked um what what meter was the best and i'm not gonna lie i i, I tell you guys all the time 2k17 was one of my least favorite 2ks but i love the shot meter the reason why i love the shot meter is because what i told you guys back when i went to go to community day in nba 2k18 the reason why I love the 2K17 shot meter is because it had a distance meter, okay? I think that distance meter needs to come back. If you guys don't remember the distance meter, the distance meter was when you could um you could tell how far like how the bar would get shorter if if you were getting further away from the basket, the bar would get bigger if you're getting closer to the basket. I think that's a beautiful idea because in 2K16, 2K15, and 2K18, you can just literally throw up shots and you don't know the percentage of your shot going in, you know what I mean? And I feel like that distance meter kind of gives you a percentage of the shot that's going in. Also, Mike Wayne also put out a, um, a statement asking if you should bring back layup meters and layup timing. Now, I'm not going to lie. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. But I never really got frequent layup greens like in 2K17, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys have. Most of you guys may be a better layup timer than me. But in 2K17, I don't really get greens on layups like that. Now, if you ask for my own personal opinion, <clears throat> a layup meter will be fine. But the little vibration in your controller needs to go for 2K19. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that vibration in the controller should tell you if your layup timing is good or not. You know what I'm saying? Most skilled players, such as myself, Play, don't play on vibration, you know what I'm saying? Most people turn their vibration off, or when your controller battery is low, vibration turns off on its own. So I really don't think that 
lay vibration in your controller should have anything to do with layup timing at all. And um, if you just ask me personally, I like 2K16 layups. I love the animations for the 2K16 layups, where there was no, I don't, I don't think there was a timing. You guys correct me if I'm wrong, but there was really no timing on 2K16 layups. It was just you either make it or you don't. You know what I mean? But um, a layup meter, I really don't mind in 2K19. And um, I don't think the community mind either. And most people have voted that to, to keep the to add the layup meter. Um, 52, 48%. I know that's 50, 50 right there. But um, I don't mind the layup meter in 2K19. But I don't see them. I don't really. It doesn't matter to me. I don't, I, it doesn't bother me. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. These are the maybe somewhat changes that are going to occur in 2K19. How do you feel about it? And am I right, man? Am I right about what I said? We always ask for gameplay changes when it comes to archetypes and stuff like that, but nobody wants to get touched. Nobody's build wants to get touched. Pure sharps don't want to get touched. Play shooters don't want to get touched. Playmakers don't want to get touched. Nobody wants to get touched. If nobody wants to get touched, you're going to have the same gameplay. And that's why I said that the community is very hypocritical. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is one on TV. I'm out.